Hi, Truncal here. I'm going to introduce you to the older equipment that we use for a uh, modern interferometry experiment. So we have our laser here. Uh, this is a gas laser that's going to emit a 632.8 nanometer uh, colored red light. Now what we're going to do is we're going to send that light into a beam splitter. So let me turn this on now. So you're going to walk in here, you're going to see the equipment's not set up, so you're going to have to set it up to take some data. So you're going to turn your laser on. That laser light is going to hit this object. This is a beam splitter. So some of the light is going to go this way towards this mirror. Some of it's going to go towards this mirror, which is actually movable if you move this uh, dial here, which is uh, kind of the dial on a vernier caliper. So this is what we what normally is going to happen. When you take, when you first turn on the laser, you're going to see two dots here. What you're going to want to do is use this X and Y. Uh, etch a sketch type knobs to try to get these beams of light to line up right on top of one another. So you get that as close as you can. You'll see a little sparkling. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. When you when you when you have them pretty much at the right spot, then what you're going to need to do is put a beam expander in front of the light that's hitting the beam splitter. All right. Now if you have that in the right place, you'll have to move it around. What you'll end up seeing is the start of what looks like a bullseye. I'm just going to go ahead and get that as best I can. And then you fine tube with those Etch-a-Sketch knobs until you get the bullseye viewed on our very expensive white paper screen against the wall. Once you can see the bullseye, this is what we're going to be doing. You know that light is leaving this beam splitter and it's going to travel in two paths. So what we're going to do is we're going to change one of the paths so it's different from the other and what we should get is interference pattern on the screen and that's what these bullseyes are. So what I'm going to do if you want to zoom in here to this caliper, what you're going to want to do is set this up so that you started at a whole number. So I'm going to go to that one marking and make sure the zero is lined up there. So that every time you turn this knob and you increment by one, two, three, four, those numbers are going to correspond to microns, all right, there's some lever system. So these are one one thousandth of an inch. So it's there's a lever system in here such that you get one micron for every line that you move through here. Our goal is going to be to count the number of fringes you see. So that's a bullseye pattern on our screen. You're going to count a certain number of fringes. You might want to do 50. So you're going to count one, two, three, four. Go up to 50 fringes and then see how many microns you move through after you counted 50 fringes. I won't tell you exactly what to do with that data, you should have a procedure in front of you and with that data you should be able to calculate the wavelength of light and Hamiltonian was a great Irish physicist.